Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Mastercrafter guys. And today this is gonna be a different a bit of a different kind of video. I'm actually gonna do a review in Fortnite of the drum shotgun. So first of all, we got the combat shotgun, we got the pump shot, we shotgun, we got the tack shotgun, we got the double barrel shotgun, we got the heavy shotgun. Well, a lot of those are vaulted, um, unvaulted for this event, or the uh, 14 days of Fortnite events. We still got another new shotgun, and it's the drum shotgun, guys. So basically, in today's review, I'm going to be going over the rate of fire, the damage, and the range. But before the video starts, guys, as always, make sure to be awesome. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button. At 6K, we got some more uh, PlayStation Xbox card giveaways. But, uh, yeah, guys, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to look at is the damage and rate of fire of this shotgun. So this shotgun is literally a spammer shotgun. We got a fire rate of 4 per second, guys. 4 per second. Uh, the damage is 50, which isn't much, but when you got a magazine size of 12, then again, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the reload time is on the, um, on the average side average side of um i understand it may take a bit to reload especially considering um just how much and fast this shotgun fires so anyways let's actually fire it guys right now let's see it okay i didn't keep spamming it i literally just held my finger on r2 guys Look at that, 12, I blew through a 12 magazine clip that fast. So obviously it fires well, but let's see how good it does against range, guys. So I'm gonna put a series of walls um, going back, seeing uh, just how far this thing could fire. I highly doubt it'll be able to fire past, um, based off where I'm going to uh, put my First wall. So I don't. Th I on guess once again. I really haven't used this. I don't think this thing could shoot very far, but I th believe it can shoot farther than a pump can. So let's get into it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so we already like annihilated the first, the first couple walls. So let's see if we can get to the back wall. All right, that is very interesting, actually, because if we look, I don't think I hit it one time, but this little minor difference, guys, if we go back over here, um, we should be able to destroy this wall easy. Okay, so how is it that we completely destroy that wall easy? But we yet we can't even hit this wall in front of, in front of it, so... I have a bit of a question for the shotgun, um, considering just the tiny gap difference between this and this and it can completely destroy this wall but it can't even graze this wall not even a scratch so i do have my questions about it but overall like if we compare it over to the um combat shotgun so we're gonna get that this thing is insane to get a just a rate of how fast this thing fires the combat shotgun is not full auto but when this thing came out, everyone's like, holy crap, this shotgun is a spammer shotgun. Because this fires pretty fast, too. You see, though, the shot, the, um, the combat shotgun is more like the, um, faster firing pump. While the, dr the drum shotgun is more of that, but for the tack. Um. So, once again, we still really can't hit that wall. Maybe we'll try to move a little bit closer. Like... All right, we're gonna move a tiny bit closer. Okay, and that made a huge difference, guys. So on average, it takes you from a decent range, three shots to destroy wooden builds, guys, with the uh, drum shotgun. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, review video, I guess. I don't do many of these. Uh, and uh, before the video ends, guys, make sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, drop a like. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Um, if you want a video on this versus the combat shotgun, feel free to let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.